What's up YouTube? Today we're going to put on an electrical oil pressure gauge. The oil pressure gauge we're going to be using is this autometer and I went with electrical because I did not want to introduce potential oil issues in the car. With the mechanical uh, oil pressure gauge you have that the, the line that's connected to the gauge that actually is a tube that has oil in it to give you pressure. I find those, I mean, I found them to be a little more accurate and a little quicker, but with those, with that little uh, tubing, it will, it can get old and crack and then, you know, have leaks. It can, if it kinks, you gotta get a whole new one. And it, it can be a complete mess. And I did not want hot, you know, 200 temperature oil spraying throughout the car. So I decided to get an electrical. But either way, with the electrical one, you will need an adapter for our LS engine. And I got the 2268 adapter. This is the what M16 uh, by 1.5. It has a crush washer and we'll probably put on um, some Teflon tape on here. Uh, but first, we need to get to our oil pressure sender and no matter you know what kind of you know what car it's in you know the oil pressure sender is back here it's on a one and one sixteenth or you can get a you know a special uh oil pressure sender removal tool but you know it's basically a long one and one sixteenth and you know however you do it find your access point and it's right here and we'll get this off. We'll drop this straight down, get it on there. And being that this is in a, a 240, I could actually get to it <clears throat> behind without having to cut anything. I know Corvettes are a real pain. They end up having to remove their wiper cover and cut in the body so they don't have to actually have to pull out the engine to do it. So, just a long, long extension with a one and one sixteenths, and it comes right out. We'll get our adapter we'll just put on just a little thread lock not thread ah crap we'll put on some teflon tape that's what i meant to say all right we'll get our adapter and put on just a little teflon tape just to keep everything sealed up. All right, make sure you have your crush washer on there. Well, you don't want this actually going over. And be careful, you just want this snug because this is brass and you will break stuff and strip stuff so you can see the hole right there and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it when I get my hand over there but we'll just start getting it threaded in there we go and then let's get this let's get this tight uh, the reason why you want to use this is because it has an eighth inch MPT female fitting on the M uh, M16 uh, by 1.5 male. The adapter will take a 22 millimeter socket. And like I said, you just want to get it you want to get it snug just to make sure there are no leaks. There we 
out. All right, so that you can see it's fitted in there. Now, the electrical oil pressure comes with this little uh, reader here. And what you do is you'll plug this, this actually, the one that comes with it. Uh, hard to do this with one hand, there we go. Right, this is an eighth inch MPT. We'll get that fitted on there, screw it in, and then you'll plug in, and, you know, put a wire on top of here, and then run that into the back of your gauge. I'm gonna check the size of this because I'll probably need a small wrench because it, obviously I can't put a socket on it. I just put a little tape on there lightly just to cover the hole till uh, I get an adapter to where I can, you know, move it out and get it on there. But the show must go on. I bought, you know, this might be completely unnecessary, but I bought some black wire for ground. Uh, I bought some blue wire for the, was it the uh, water temp gauge? I bought some of this brownish gray wire for the oil pressure gauge and the red for power. You know, kind of keep it color coordinated. Otherwise, if I had like, uh, let's say, you know, three black wires for the oil pressure gauge and three black wires for water pressure. I, I don't know what's what, but I want to go ahead and get this. Uh, all I need to do is the blue and the gray uh, from the back of the engine through the tunnel or through the firewall and the back of the passenger side. That's where the water coolant gauge will go. Uh, some space there and back in there and I want to get it routed in there and get it covered up and then I am pretty much done with this area if I can be. Uh, then I gotta go in the car and start hooking up that stuff. So these are pretty big spools and I don't know exactly how long I, I need or want so I don't want to cut it and I'd rather pull it from the inside and then have the extra space in there. But I don't want to reach my hand in there and try to shove a wire through here. So I just, I mean, I still have the old SRS harness. So I just kind of shove that down in the hole. And then what I'll do is I pulled it through here and I'll just tie this end back on, back on here. And then I'll just pull it back through. And that way I don't have to stress about you know, doing that. So I'll do the oil and I'll do the water at the same time. I got them tied on there and now just gonna pull that wire back through. All right, and as you can see, right over here, easy enough, they just came right on through. For the oil pressure gauge, uh, because it was recommending having a line off of it. I ordered this uh, Steel braided line. It has I guess it's um, 4 an fittings and it will go to an eighth inch MPT male and it has an eighth inch MPT female that way I can the male I plug into the Adapter in the engine and then the female I plug in the actual pressure unit And then I got to find where I'm going to route it uh, the A-in fittings, I'm not going to use uh, thread lock, but on the other side where it plugs into the adapter and the other side, I am. All right, so I have the line done up. I just need to put some uh, Teflon tape on here, get off the uh, tape I put in there to cover the hole and get that bolted down. What was nice is I was able to fit a 15 down on there. That's what... That's what that one goes to. And I got it reasonably snug. You don't want to get too tight, otherwise you'll mess up the, the brass fitting. And then, I mean, I got to find a place. I mean, the it's pretty long, so I'm going to look for a place to put it. I'm thinking 
you know, kind of out of the way, depending on, I plan on having the fuel filter thing here. Maybe I could run this over down to here and put it where this uh, cruise control stuff was that I got to take out. That might be a good location. It could be tucked away, kind of hidden. And then uh, I could run the, you know, the wire from right here, right directly in. That might be a good option. All right, well, I got to get that off and then see how that will work. All I've done so far, I connected two <clears throat> of my 18 gauge, one's short, one's a bit longer. The short one I'm going to connect to the yellow live wire or actually I'm going to connect this butt to the yellow live wire and this is going to act as my new yellow to connect to the stereo and then this long one because I don't exactly know where I want to put this relay um, I may just tuck it back in there and so I wanted to have a little extra cord for that that's how I'm going to handle that all right so the way I got this wired this is going to go into the relay comes up into I have a 5 amp fuse and it splits off into two and these are going to go to the gauges so I'm going to go ahead and get that hooked up and we'll look at the the ground in a second the way I have the ground I have the ground hooked to the chassis and I have one line coming off this side going it'll go into the relay then I have the two grounds for each of the two uh, gauges that works See, I'll have this power line going into uh, into the relay. Then I'll have this one coming out of the relay with the fuse, then going to the two gauges. And then I have the trigger relay here. So that's one, two, three, four for the four pin relay. Just one more time for re reiteration sake. Uh, 30 30 went to the hot wire the 12 volt constant then I have 87 going to the fuse and the gauges and then 86 and 85 one can be uh, ground and one can be your accessory switch on that's how I have that uh, wired up as a temporary base put them on some cardboard uh, the wire, you have the cinder, ground, and the switch. Cinder, ground, and switch. So I have these. All of them except one of them is in the waterproof thing. And I'll just turn them over here. And then I'll be able to see them when I start it up. Alright, that's what I have for the oil pressure uh, gauge today. Uh, I ended up cutting up a couple different versions. Uh, that I recorded. I ended up getting the wiring as you saw it there uh, in a later version so I put that one in there. Earlier version I just had a kind of janky temporary setup. I didn't want to put that on the, the video of you know how you should install your oil pressure uh, gauge so that's what I got. Uh, I got a bunch more coming. Stay tuned. It's gonna start soon.